Time now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. A heads up for small business owners, a warning tonight about companies offering grants for a price. A local businessman called problem solver Susan Hogan after he realized something didn't add up. She joins us now with what she found. If you're running a small business, every bit of money counts, as you know. So when a company contacts you offering thousands of dollars in grant money, it may get your attention. But we've discovered one company that wants much more than that. Aaron Robito owns a recycling business. He recycles other companies, used printer cartridges, printers, computers, you name it. And although the business is small, Aaron has big plans. A lot of companies now are looking to go green and making sure that what they're doing with the old electronics, uh, it's uh, sustainable and, and um, appropriate, good for the environment. But like any business, extra cash flow helps get you through tough times. I uh, got an automated phone call. Aaron says he never heard of the company but liked what they had to say. They said that they could get me money for my uh, company through a grant. So after answering some basic questions, Aaron says he got some great news. I was approved for about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or so. But here's the catch. According to Aaron, the company wanted thirty five hundred dollars from him up front just to process his application. Then they wanted another $3,500 when he gets 50% of the amount he qualified for. But there are no guarantees he'd get any money at all. They would write the grants for me. They would write a business plan. We've discovered the company doesn't actually provide grant money to the client and says on its own website the funding organization has complete power over the funding amount. What made me skeptical was they said it was a sure thing. Aaron wasn't so sure and opted not to pay them a dime. The BBB gives the company a big fat F and warns consumers whenever a company wants upfront fees, that's a red flag and you should walk away from any deal. Call 12 for Action tried contacting the company for more information, but its email wasn't working and the phone just kept on ringing. Bottom line, do your research. If you get a cold call from a company, check them out before giving them any information about your business. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.